Okay, that's it. I've decided I need a cooking show. I like this little setup we've got going on today. not a good note. Also guys, I've put in my hair. Look, I'm going to an avatar screening this evening, which is so fun. Tell me why I look like a cockapoo right now. This is what this hair is giving me. But normally when I put my extensions in, I crimp it. I really love it, but I just don't know if they need like brushing out or what's going on. But I appreciate that I've got a lot of hair in right now, but it's fine. Just going back anyways, because we're baking, we're cooking, we're going to get into some festive spirits again. I did go to the supermarket. I did buy the ingredients. I then came home and realized I had only half of the ingredients. So I just had to actually put an order in, which I hate doing um, in terms of like grocery shopping online. And that should be here very shortly, but obviously we can start with what we've got. As you would have seen from the title, so I literally went onto TikTok. Also, I feel like I literally haven't even started this video. I feel like I've just literally gone at you, just started rambling. So do apologize. How are we? I hope everyone's well. Grab yourself a cuppa. But yeah, as you would have seen from the title of this video, we are making it some TikTok baking dessert type situations. I've seen so many that I've wanted to try. Equally, me and Jed actually have a few friends of Jed's from Brighton coming up this weekend. So we're hosting our first little Christmas party in the flat, which I'm really, really excited for. When I did my surprise video for Jed, that kind of thing I just live for. I actually thrive like hosting and just that kind of thing. So I'm really, really excited. Let me know if I should vlog it because I feel like that might be really cute. Like, anyways. Let's get on with the vid. You okay, babe? We're doing the cooking with Jed segment. Oh, do you want to actually join me? Because this could be so fun. You're no, not doing anything right now, awful. are you? I've got no, you don't. awful hair. No, you don't. no I Please. honestly, no. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I know, you, I know I'm the best cook in town. Oh. I am a sick cook. <laughs> no, I'll have a Skittle video. Get out of my kitchen. So. Okay, so the first one, obviously, I'm going to put like the TikToks here. The first is that all you actually need is a, well, you could make the puff paste yourself, but just get uh, so pre-made puff pastry and Nutella. That's all you need. So this is actually gonna be so easy. Also, this isn't mess. These are the ingredients that we are gonna be using today. I probably should have cleared them away and then just brought them in where they're needed, but it's fine. Okay, so for this, we are going to put a little bit of flour down on the surface. Is everyone feeling festive yet? Because I feel like I am, but I'm also going through like glimmers of hope where like some days I'm like, is it Christmas? Because I feel like I just broke up from dance college. It was Friday. I can't even tell you how excited I am just to like have no uni and just be a be a free woman doing what I want to do. Actually, to be fair, I didn't even need to put flour down on the surface. That was stupid. Obviously, I can just like do social media, focus on bits and bobs. I feel like my content has been slightly lacking in areas, a lot of areas. So I'm really excited to just like properly do the job right. You know what I mean? And we're gonna take a knife. I'm not gonna show it just because I feel like, I feel like there's a phobia. Jen has a phobia of knives. So just in case anyone else has it. And we are literally just gonna like slice this down the middle. Now I know that people say always to roll out these because you can get more product out of it. However, I'm not gonna do that just because we don't own a rolling pin. I really don't know why. I really, I used to bake so much and I really don't now. So like in terms of our uh, equipment, we're a bit, uh, what's it called? We're constricted in that department. So I'm now gonna go in within the toilet and kind of like coat the sheets. But like I was saying, yes, I've broken up. Really, really excited. I feel like now the festivities can properly begin. Cause to be fair, it wasn't even that festive in like uni. But yeah, it's really obviously nice to have the daytime now, so I think we're even going to like Winter Wonderland tour with the rest of the Barkers, which is really fun. Get to see the kids again, I believe. I want to go to so many Christmas markets because I really feel like I haven't had the chance to yet. I equally, we've got Battersea Power Station really quite near to us, and they've got the Joe Malone ice rink up, which looks so so lovely. And I think they have a few stalls around there as well. Like that's what I miss, just like Christmas stalls. I'm also gonna just preheat the oven to 200. No, I think this is the fun uh, bit where we're just gonna take this and layer it straight on. And then we're gonna cut it into a triangle. Okay, now we can take the excess and you can use this for like decoration, I believe, or just whack it in the oven because it'll all taste so no matter what shape it's in. Now we've gotta make tiny little slits where we can start to like twist these off. Okay, and now we twist. Honestly, I think this is taking me like literally 10 minutes. Okay, and those are actually all done, which the twists, they're debatable, but this, this is looking really cute. I've also put a tiny bit of fry light just on it. I know the normal thing is to obviously go and put butter on it, but it's just because I need the butter for the cookies that we're gonna be making. And then we just pop this in the oven. I think it's like 10 to 15 minutes and you're done. This, I feel like it's just like the perfect kind of thing, just to share and tear. Everyone loves a good bit of chocolate and some pastries. Why not? 
first one done boom let's go to the next one for the next one we're going to be baking some sugar cookies which i'm really excited for because i again like i was saying i haven't done proper baking in a while the only thing is though is you're actually going to think that we're so ratchet i'm going to be doing all our mixing in our boiling pot um we don't actually own a nice bowl i feel like all our parents have these really lovely ceramic bowls then when you move out by yourself and you're like oh could have actually done with one of those but like again me and john don't bake so literally we have the basics as in like a little baking tray we have a cupcake mold but i will say that was for jed's keto because he made something like bacon cupcakes or just something beyond me i don't know but yeah so we're going to ignore that this isn't quite the aesthetic if this is something that we like we like cooking with imogen imogen's baking show imogen's bake off then maybe i might have to invest um but for the time being we're gonna have to use this so i was following this recipe it says 360 but you know what i think i'm actually gonna have to half everything because me and jed don't need that many cookies there's only two of us and when we don't have any guests this week so again i just don't want food going to waste i'm gonna half this yeah all right so i'm gonna start by putting butter into a bowl the original i think she said 225 so we're gonna be using like 110 ish i always ish it with baking i never like actually measure things out and then popping in 100 grams of sugar i really feel like i look like i know what's going on right now but i can genuinely tell you i don't know how this is gonna turn out um i'm now just gonna cream all of this together but it's really bad did anyone else just used to eat this raw as a kid like i know that people like eat cookies raw but like butter and sugar and i'd still be licking the spoon the weird thing should i confess that on the internet that i would use to eat butter and sugar together mm, maybe now i'm just gonna go in with one egg oh and she gets it over the floor ah! and the egg is in there okay real now i'm just going with some vanilla extract i'm gonna do like probably like a cat now i'm gonna start with the dry ingredients Even i don't know how thick sugar cookies meant to be so i'm literally just like rolling them into little walls and then like squishing them in my palms but I kind of like it, you know, when they have that little, like, effect. Like a little rustic kind of like, mm, I've just made homemade cookies, look. What we're going for. Again, I'm going to actually have to eyeball these until they're cooked because I don't know how long you're meant to cook them for. Okay, last and final little one. We're going to make Oreo polar bears. Again, I'll put these in now because they were just so, so cute. But like I was saying, I had to do a cold order. But I did end up just ordering a few bits of bobs, like I was saying. Well, no, you would have seen me and Joe came back from Brighton this morning, so like, we've got no food in the apartment, so I did pick up some other bits and bobs just so it wasn't really like a waste of an order. Okay, so like I was saying, Oreos. We're gonna melt off with some white chocolate. Oh, no! I want some food. No, sweetie. No, 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 no. We're doing a big taste test at the end. No, stay away. Ooh, they look good. Yeah, they look good. Don't you think she should just let me have like a couple Oreos or something while she's cooking to satisfy me? Why? Taste test at the end. Yeah. I don't need a taste test of Oreos. I've had Oreos before. Do you using a lot of these or not? Huh? Using a lot of these or not? Nah, to be fair, I'm only going to use five just, oh. just to get the gist. Then I'll take four. Two of those. Hey. I oh, need, no, I'm melting all of these. Okay, just two. No. Two. No. Two. No. Two. No. Two. no. Okay, one. No. One, one little button. No, no, <laughs> give me one. It tastes like butter. Oh my god. No. Ah. Jen! Okay, so just take my boiling pan and I'm going to use what it's obviously meant for and just chuck all of those buttons into there. And I'm just going to chuck that in there straight away so it can start melting. Okay, we're in business, baby. And then that's going to go onto our plate to cool. And then take our Milky Way bars and we're going to have these as the eat. So this is what they're looking like, which is really cute, but I have a feeling that I haven't pushed those in enough and it's not actually going to stay. That is also my finger. We're going to ignore it. It's going to be fine, guys. Hopefully that's going to stay. Oh, cookies. Cookies are... Oh, cookies are actually looking good. Okay, so now... Hello, rocking around Christmas with the friggin' tree. Okay, then we're gonna take. <laughs> that was so like. Ah! Um, we're gonna take our Smarties. I'm gonna try and get out all the blue ones because that's what the lady did. I kind of look like more like Mickey Mouse's though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is so fun. The thing is though, is I wish Jed liked doing things like this to me. I feel like this would be such like a fun little activity to do with all your girls. Also, no one can tell me otherwise. The orange Smartie tastes of orange. It's the only flavored one. I don't know why they did it, but they did it. Orange. 
weird. Now, I will say that she had like eyes on her polar bears, but I mean, how skilled do you think my local grocery store is? So we're just gonna have to improvise. A giant button. I'm gonna like just cut these down so they look somewhat of an eye shape. Okay, I am gonna take out my sugar cookies now because I feel like they're done and I don't wanna overdo them. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. okay, so these are what my bears are looking like. Safe so to say that this is definitely the B tag version. Um, I feel like this one's definitely the cutest. I don't want to make them slip and slide too much. But we're just gonna chuck them in the oven and the the fridge. At the end today, what's not what's on the outside? What's on the inside? And that's Oreo and chocolate. So regardless, it's gonna taste good. But I feel like that's actually such a fun little thing to do. Like even if like you have kids, I feel like that kids would just absolutely enjoy that so much. Anyways. What in the frick is that? I mean, it doesn't taste awful, but it doesn't taste cute either. Okay, follow your own sugar cookie recipe. Regardless, let's get decorating. But like I was saying earlier, the idea is that they're gonna look like melted snowmen. Guys, I really don't know what to do at this point. So, I've just realized I've done something completely weird. This is my lovely creation. Tell me what that is, I don't know. This was what I was meant to make. I think we might have to leave this here. I've shown you the idea. You know what's expected of you. I'm sure you can do better than I can. Um, equally, I do not have any icing like that to be able to pull those skills off. So this is, <laughs> I'm actually just gonna chuck a load of crap on that and call it a day i think okay so we've got our little goodies together i want to go and get jed we're going to taste test all of this i think it's safe to say that the image and crib cooking channel won't be coming anytime soon unless her skills dramatically dramatically improve i think this is a segment that we've decided to open up and close within the space of 12 hours so hope you guys enjoyed this but let's go try this out okay we're gonna try the cookie first i've just tried a cookie all you've done is put a <laughs> dot of icing sugar on it so do you want i love the side of the tiny bit of icing sugar on i guess che oh we don't cheers in this family <laughs> We don't need ice and sugar, right? It doesn't taste like, does it? I'll be honest, <laughs> not a big fan. But I assume we're starting off with the worst. Mmm. Okay. I'm going with these next. Would you like to pick one up? <laughs> I wish I had already. It actually looks like the devil. <laughs> Did you pick up the one with the funny eyes? <laughs> I made that one look like that one. <laughs> This you can't go wrong with because like it's just chocolate and Oreo. This is really good, but it's very sickly. I think that looks banging. Mmm. No? Are you kidding me? I think my Christmas my Christmas tree. I think my Christmas tree looks good. It's got a star on top and everything. Me too. It's... Yeah, me too. It's amazing, babe. No. Double high five. Yeah, because I was thinking about serving this on Saturday. Oh. <laughs> it is literally like a Nutella pastry. You can't not like that. I'm mean, gonna be in better warmer. No. Are you kidding me? It's not like a dessert, is it? It feels more like a breakfast food. I'll say that. Mm. It feels like a plain croissant. Maybe a plain croissant. It tastes a bit like a plain croissant. Oh, you think I should put more Nutella in it? Definitely. Okay, I'll take that. Guys, I wish you could taste those cookies. I'm not, even, I'm not being horrible. I'm a very nice person on her food. No, normally I'm actually quite a good cook. She can be a good cook, yeah, yeah. Today's wasn't it. Just maybe not a good bakery cook. <laughs> I think we'll give it a pass. But uh, definitely go and follow our recipes because <laughs> they turn out amazing, don't they? Oh, yeah. Anyways, before my camera dies and before the end of this video, I just wanted to announce the winner of last video's giveaway. And that is Ellie and McCartney. So congratulations for winning last video's giveaway. Hopefully, guys, you would have seen this this emoji for this video and hopefully you did enjoy somewhat of this video i feel like it's actually going to be a massive shambles editing it back but yeah hope you enjoyed uh, make sure to give it a like comment subscribe down below tell me what i could have done better because clearly that was everything that i could have done so yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next one